and welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, if you're new here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some fall farmhouse style DIYs. I love fall time. It is just my favorite time of the year. It's so cozy and I just love everything about fall decorating. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these DIYs. Most of the items came from Dollar Tree and this makes the DIYs really inexpensive and they're also easy to put together. So I do apologize. I know I'm not looking my best in this video. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm going to be having a baby really soon. I'm also um, working full time. I'm a school nurse and I've just been busy and I know that I'm looking a little bit crazy, but please bear with me for the next couple weeks until I have this baby and then I should be feeling a little bit back to myself. So thank you all so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. For this first DIY, you're going to need two plungers from Dollar Tree and I am going to be making a tea towel ladder. So what my husband did was cut the ends off of these and then cut them in half. We used a couple pieces of scrap wood. The scrap wood was about an inch and a half thick and then we made this around 10 inches tall. To secure the pegs into the sides, we used a nail gun, but you could also use wood glue because the wood is so light. And then we stained the pieces of wood using dark walnut wood stain and then just allowed that to dry. Next, I'm going to be making a beaded garland. And I got these beads from Dollar Tree and then I just put them on um, some skewers. You can also get these at Dollar Tree. And then this container that I am um, have the skewers on also came from Dollar Tree. And what I did was just give these a couple of coats of white spray paint. I will be honest with you, it does take a few coats to get these fully covered and if I were to do it again I would have spread them out a little bit more. This is actually my second time making a garland and beads are just not the easiest thing to paint but it can be done. And after that then I used um, some larger size wooden beads and I got these at Hobby Lobby. If you um, don't want to do this though, the, I think that the garland would look totally fine with Dollar Tree um, beads, but with a coupon or anything like that, you can get little wooden beads from Hobby Lobby or another craft store for almost as cheap as what you can get from Dollar Tree. And I just used the bigger, gar the bigger beads as kind of an accent. I painted these with gray chalk paint. I did like using a foam brush to paint these beads. I felt like it got in between the beads really well and made painting a lot easier honestly almost easier than spray painting and this gray chalk paint came from Walmart and it is the Waverly brand. This is kind of my favorite and it's nice because it comes in really small containers so you can try out different colors. I know chalk paint isn't the cheapest but I am obsessed with the texture right now and I love the look of the matte finish. While I was waiting for the beads to dry then I made the tassel for the end of the garland and this is definitely one of the biggest pain in the butt parts of making a garland in my opinion. So I took a piece of cardstock, it was about five inches wide, and I wrapped some jute rope several times around there to make it as thick as what I wanted the tassel to be. And the tassel will be um, twice as thick as what how much the width is that you're wrapping. And after that was done, I removed it from the cardstock and then I tied a five inch piece of jute rope around the middle of this and then I cut both ends of the tassel. Next I cut a 12 inch piece of the jute rope and I made a loop at one end of this and then wrapped this around the top of the tassel. I know it's a little bit confusing when I explain it but hopefully watching it will make more sense and then I wrapped this several times around and eventually I just put the end of that rope through the middle of the tassel just to tie it off and this creates a little um, hole at the top with those extra pieces of jute rope from before and then you can use those pieces to attach this tassel to the garland. I know it's a little bit confusing. Making tassels is truly just a little bit of a pain in the butt but I love beaded garlands so I do think it's worth it in the end. To make a farmhouse style pumpkin, I started with one of the orange foam pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I gave that a coat of the gloss acrylic paint first and then after that had dried, I went over the pumpkin with matte white spray paint. Spray paint tends to eat away at foam if it is sprayed directly onto it, so I do like to do a little bit of a base coat. And then I had these wall decals. I think I got these around springtime. I'm not sure if they still carry them at Dollar Tree. I hope so though. And I. Um, used the word thankful on this pumpkin and I just 
stuck it directly onto the pumpkin and I think it looks really cute. I also replaced the stem with a real stick just from my yard. I feel like that looks way more realistic and gives it more of a farmhouse feel. For this next DIY, I'm going to be using a diploma frame from Dollar Tree as well as the top of one of these fall boxes from Dollar Tree. These come in a few different sizes. I just chose the middle side and size and then I spray painted this with matte white chalk paint. Once that had dried, I tried to paint a buffalo check pattern onto the onto it. However, it just did not work. The tape kept pulling off the paint. So I printed off this buffalo check pattern online and then I traced out the size of the pumpkin and then I cut that out and then I applied some Mod Podge to the back and the front of the piece of paper and then I um, used my paintbrush to spread this out and applied the paper on top of the lid from this container and I think that this turned out really really cute. I know a lot of people are going to complain that I'm using too much Mod Podge so sorry I know that that has to be really offensive but I like a lot of Mod Podge and I think it gives it a really pretty farmhouse look. Once the Mod Podge had dried then I applied the decal onto the front of this pumpkin and this wall decal came in the same pack as the thankful that I had used in my previous DIY. I took everything out from the picture frame and then I painted this with brown paint and then I um, painted the glass piece with some matte white chalk paint and then I used my hot glue gun to go around the outside edge of this pumpkin and then I put this on the front of the frame and I think that it made a really neat 3D picture. Here are all of the DIYs after they've been completed. I love the final look. I think that they're perfect for neutral farmhouse fall decorating. And this um, pumpkin spice decal that is on my mug as well as the Hello Pumpkin sign are two items that I'm currently selling in my Etsy store. If you're interested in those, I will have it linked down below in my description box. Thank you all so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an amazing day. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.